Today, we're going to see what big, scary creatures we can reanimate from the graveyard. Let's see how it goes. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing super well. I hope you had a fantastic week. I hope your Friday is going well. Uh, we're going to be hanging out and playing some Mardu Reanimator today. This is my own version of the list based on MTG Malone's list. Um, I made a number of changes to it that we'll kind of talk about, and you'll notice some oddities with it. Some of this I'm just trying out. Uh, I don't think it actually has a lot of synergy with the deck, but the glaring obvious one is Obnixilis. It's just a really good card right now. <laughs> Uh, and it's really hard to pass up, but uh, essentially the goal here with Obnixilis is first and foremost, it just attacks the hand. So it's a really great opportunity for us to just continuously kind of get stuff out of the opponent's hand. We do have a single bur uh, Burning Rune Demon, uh, which I did add to the deck that works uh, really, really well with the Obnixilis if we can get that out. Uh, additionally, we can just minus two to get the little uh, devil token. Um, but the idea is pretty straightforward. We continue to attack the hand with this and hopefully get somewhere with it. Uh, alternatively, we can actually casualty it out. Since we are a reanimator deck, we can bring most of our creatures back. So if we have like a burning rune demon out uh, or a uh, Velomachus or whatever, uh, we can casualty this out, get a lot of counters on the, the copy and then really start to go to town because then we can start drawing extra cards. Yeah, we lose some life, but it's fine. Um, so very interested to see how this goes. I have it as a three of. I don't even know if this fits in the deck. This is just a, a test run. <laughs> um, now, obviously, the reanimator spells are the big piece with this. Uh, we do have the, of course, return uh, upon the tide. This has been in standard for quite a while, and this is usually the go-to spell. Uh, we have no elves in the deck, so that's not going to do anything, but it is a foretellable four mana uh, uh, spell, essentially. Uh, but we also have Graveyard Shift, which is a new one. It is a sorcery, however, it does have flash as long as there are five or more mana value cards among cards in your graveyard. Uh, return target creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield. Super straightforward. Uh, to be able to do this at instant speed is pretty awesome. Um, I left the three and three split that MTG Malone had. I felt like that's pretty reasonable. Um, we did add in Olivia, though. Uh, which is a reanimation spell on a uh, creature, essentially. Uh, and because uh, Evelyn was already in here, this is also a legendary vampire. So there might actually be a situation where we can bring both back. And then uh, even if Olivia dies, we don't just immediately lose what whatever else we uh, decide to reanimate. Uh, he had originally Dusk Mangler as a two of. I really like this card. Um, I know you can't see the whole thing. As an additional cost to, to cast it, you would normally have to sacrifice a creature, discard a card, or pay for life. Because we're reanimating it, that doesn't really matter. And when it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature, discards a card, and loses for life. Uh, so this is really a big, big hit uh, to the uh, to the opponent here. And between this and Obnixilis, we can start getting cards out of the hand. So they really just don't have a lot to do uh, with in terms of interaction. Uh, we do have a number of sweepers, Meat Hook and Doomscar. Oh, did forget Urobrask is in here as well. It's just a ridiculous card. Uh, I upped big score to four. Uh, I think this card's just stupid good. And so for me, that was a pretty obvious one. Cathartic Pyre's in here as well as Thrilling Discovery too. And then we have a one of Blood Cheese Thirst just to kind of deal with some stuff. So we'll see how things go. Again, this is very much a test run of this deck because um, I'm not I'm not positive on the Obnixilis at all. Uh, I'm not even positive on the reanimation splits that I've got. So we're going to be testing, having some fun today, just having a nice relaxed Friday, trying to do some silly stuff uh, and having some fun. So let's jump right in, guys. Let's see how it goes. Uh, hopefully we can get some wins. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And uh, I mean, yeah, we can definitely keep this. We can foretell the uh, return and we do have a target to get rid of with big score. So that seems pretty reasonable. Um, we're definitely going to want this on the black side, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. The safer bet might have just been the mountain or the field of ruin, to be honest, but uh, I think this is pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, you know, honestly, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Lotus Cobra. It looks like this is the, the Simic ramp deck, potentially Bant ramp deck, but the idea behind this is to ramp into a Titan of Industry. So we do want to remove as much as we can to uh, get rid of plays. Wow. Interesting. 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 Um. Well, unfortunately, we don't have our second black source, so we are a little, little shot in the foot here because they are going to be able to get Scoot Swarm going. 
Meat Hook Massacre is phenomenal, though, here, so that's okay. Oh, interesting. Um, Omnix List isn't a bad draw here, weirdly. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I would really like a land, obviously. <laughs> that would be ideal. I'm gonna just minus. Uh, I think this is actually okay. If they happen to have a bounce spell like a Fading Hope, that kind of gets us, but that's fine. Probably a misplay on my end. We should have expected a Fading Hope given that uh, they didn't play anything last turn. Here's that Scoot Storm token going off. Here's a Quandrix Cultivator. They're going to be able to get some lands down and trigger this again. So basically, we need to get a second Black Source off the top of the Meat Hook Massacre here. That's like, okay, hey, we did it. Um, yeah, and I am just going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> shoot this. <laughs> Uh, definitely don't want to deal with Scoot Storm going crazy next turn, so this was a pretty easy, uh, easy hit. Um, next turn we do have Big Score, uh, which will get either Dusk Mangler or, you know, um, well, basically Dusk Mangler. I think that's our only real hit. I do hate I misplayed with the Obnix list. We could have left it on the field had we just plussed it, um, which would have probably just been a lot safer, but, uh, that's okay taking a hit for three and then they're gonna deliberate surprised they didn't actually leave up the mana this is an instant they could have done this on their or my end step but that's fine by me it gives us a free pass for the turn so i'll take it i don't know what we're gonna do with our free pass but <laughs> land is not bad i will happily take a land um i wish very much that we could do this have an extra land and then return but we are not quite there so i think we just pass uh what we'll be able to do is big score this turn discarding that dusk mangler and then next turn we can kind of do whatever we need to do sure that's very very good Sarath is very good um but the dusk mangler is going to come down theoretically and really kind of mess with them so we'll see uh excellent let's do this We'll discard that Dusk Mangler, uh, draw a couple cards, get a couple treasure tokens, and now all of a sudden we're looking a lot better. Um, does not have Flash yet. We don't even have nearly enough in our graveyard. So I'm just going to go ahead and return the Dusk Mangler. This is going to hit. Again, we get to bypass the, uh, the casting cost here, so that's super nice. Um, and they do have to discard a card. Interesting pick. Uh, I wish we had more to discard, but we really don't. So I'm just going to wait on the Thrilling Discovery. I'm not going to pull that trigger quite yet. There's Coma. Uh, again, this is what this deck is looking to do. It's just play super big stuff, super scary stuff. Um, makes a lot of sense. All right. Yep. Land. All right. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. All right, so what can we do? Not a lot, honestly. Um, we're a little, little shot in the foot here. Um, ugh, I don't love any of this. Um, okay, so essentially this is two mana. So let's tap, tap, tap. Let's big score. We'll just discard a graveyard shift since we don't really have anything else anyway. We just kind of need to find something. <laughs> uh, thrilling discovery with that's not bad. Um, so I think we can just like safe, not safely, but just basically pass here and leave up the lore hold command. Um, I don't love this because we are gonna well we'll be okay one two three four five six seven so yeah we'll be okay there all right so they can just sacrifice some stuff which isn't great uh let's see we get to choose two um Weirdly, I think this is the place. So, we'll auto pay, that's fine. 
Um, so I'm just trying to draw into more answers essentially here. That's kind of it. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice the treasure just to draw some cards. Cool. Uh, and then this is indestructible for the turn. So this is a free block. They're just going to sacrifice a little 3-3, three, three, uh, which isn't saying a lot for what they're doing. That's fine. But the idea is that if we can get rid of these, then maybe we have a chance at some point. But chances are this is going to be a pretty pretty hefty uh, hit for us. So, yeah. Burning Rain Demon, huh? It's not bad. Um, I do really like Burning Rain Demon. Um very close with that as well uh let's see all right so i guess we do this discarding both of these just to draw further into the deck if we can find an answer we're like pretty good but we did not um so then i guess we just go ahead and oh we can flash this too I'm gonna get the burning rune demon here. Uh, this allows us to get meat hook and doom scar, which I think we just have to do. We'll submit those two, um, and this gives us an out basically either way, theoretically. I mean, they can give this indestructible, which is fine, but they do have to kind of deal with stuff. Um, Do we attack? I actually think yes. Um, here's the thing. If we attack... Oh, they just get to... Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> Whoops. Totally forgot they can just untap stuff here. Uh, Well-played opponent. That was really good. All right. They still lose the life. Hey. <laughs> Not that that's very good, but here we are. Uh, yeah, this is just so difficult to deal with um they're gonna start attacking with basically everything uh so i think we just block the coma we're gonna i mean we're gonna sweep so like the idea is we block here they sacrifice one of these guys we take six but we sweep next turn um so this saves us the majority of our life total I don't know. This is a tricky one. Um, this is a really, really good game. Um, all right. Can we set up a world where we get to do a like everything? Um, probably not, right? All right, well, let's just do this because we kind of have to. We really don't have a choice here, so. Um, yep. Just untapping this just to make sure that makes sense. Okay. Again, we can't do anything about any of that, really. <laughs> um. I would have loved a world where we like could cathartic pyre plus lore hold command, um, but we're just not there. We can kind of force the issue here uh, by cathartic pyring the three three, but I don't know that that's the right call. I mean, we're taking six regardless, so that kind of sucks. I don't even really want to discard anything, so. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like just hit this. I don't think this is correct. Um, but it does gain us a life and kind of keeps us a little bit further into the game. Um, okay. All right, let's see what happens. Not much else we can do. Um, we do get the attack in, which does trigger, which is nice. Uh, 
Man, we really kind of... All right, let's return. Um, let's do this. I don't know if that this is correct. Wow, okay, we did it. They did not lose that game yet, though. That was a little odd, um, but I will happily take it. We rank up to plat four as well. That was a, that was such a stressful game. <laughs> All right, let's move on to game uh, game number two. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, yeah, I mean, we keep this. It's not ideal, <laughs> uh, to be honest, but at least we've got some card draw if need be. Um, and, you know, we do have big score as well as the lore hold command to get into. So I, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I'm not sold that this is a great hand. This is a very, uh, very setup y kind of hand. So we'll see what happens. Um, I can't believe we won that game. There was absolutely no reason that we should have won that. All right. Looks like Naya runes. We are uh, back to the fun. <laughs> uh, this deck is so annoying to me. I've played against it so often. It's just frustrating. Um, but it's cool. Uh, theoretically, we can just outpower it, but we'll see. And now we're at a bit of a crossroads because the Thrilling Discovery is obvious, like, turn two play, but we don't have a lot to discard, wh whereas the Meat Hook Massacre is obviously going to force us on the black end of things with the, uh, the land here. Okay, well, that kind of makes it a little easier to, to do this. So I think we discard that and... I actually think it's this. All right. Sick. That's actually really good. Uh, so now we obviously can just foretell this next turn, um, but we also just have stuff we can do. <laughs> uh, and a creature to reanimate, so that's actually quite nice. Uh, this is going to be a problem with Kami, though. The Kami is very, very good and very difficult for us to deal with. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and foretell the return. Uh, as far as reanimator targets go, this isn't exactly, like, the craziest one. Interesting. Okay. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on target. You think you should Very cool. Alright. I like that a lot. Uh, fight rigging seems kind of sick in the, uh, Kami of Transients deck. So, I get it. Alright. Uh, let's play land. Um... <laughs> what do we do? Uh, so we can return. Which is, I mean, sadly, I think just the best play. It's not very good. It's okay, but it's not great. All right. Wow. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, this isn't exactly ideal, but it's fine. Um, Obnixilis is something. This has trample. That's kind of the problem. This just... Uh, we don't have any way to... We can double up with Lorehold Command and potentially try and kill it at some point if they uh, can get some stuff going, but if we can get them down to one creature, the Dusk Mangler can come in and that does kind of force the issue, but they've got Touch the Spirit Realm, so not going to happen. Um, that gets rid of our Obnixilus play as well. And now they have a 7-7, seven, seven, which is really good. 8-8, eight, eight, excuse me. Okay, so they had a fight rigging on the fight rigging. That was really sick. So they can chain these, which is very, very good. All right. So I think we're just dead. Land is not helpful. Um... So, yeah, we're super dead. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and concede, guys. Let's move into a uh, quick game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, wow, what a reactive hand. Um, weirdly, though, I kind of want to keep it. Uh, my thing is, if this happens to be another creature deck, like, Doom Scars are phenomenal, and we have two of them. Uh, we do also have a Fertelable Return and a target. So really we're just looking for a discard spell and that's like the majority of our deck. Uh, and so I feel like it's okay to kind of go for this and hope for the best. Um, 
Interesting. All right, I'm just gonna lead with the Sanctum. We can then put the pathway land out on white and then have the Haunted Ridge coming down on turn three. So that seems pretty reasonable to me. The question is, what do we foretell here? I am gonna be uh, edging on the side of safety uh, with the Doom Scar just in case. I this is going to be, I assume, a bit more of a controlling deck. Um, so I, I'm not anticipating that this is going to do a ton, but uh, nice. I'm just going to keep foretelling here. I don't really care about the... Uh, do I just kill it? Yeah, I'll just kill it. This probably isn't the correct play. Um, Blood Cheese Thirst hits a lot better, like, more important things. Um, but And we already have a Doom Scar ready to go um but just to be mana efficient i guess i'll do it i don't love it but here we are do you need to find like a big score or you know something to do with our mana because at the moment we're so reactive we just don't really have anything oh well nixilis isn't a bad one um let's go for the black source let's go for the uh, nixilis What's nice is the Vanishing Verses that I imagine our opponent has are not going to hit us. Um, I am going to plus up here. We're just going to keep things in the safe zone. Um, so, yep, Vanishing Verse, not going to do anything. So they're going to go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, I'm sure they've got answers to Obnixilis, but uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them to deal with it than other things. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, so the question becomes, do we Doomscar just to get rid of a 1-1? <laughs> uh, and honestly, kind of thinking we do. Um, all right, let's plus up first. Unfortunately, no land, which is a bit annoying. Uh, because we do have stuff we want to get to, and big score would be so helpful. All right, I'm going to do the silly play, and, uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it just means that the Necrotic Fumes isn't going to go off and get rid of Obnixilis, so that's actually pretty relevant. Um, Alright, another land would be great, so we could get another Doomscar going. That is not a Doomscar. Um, Alright, so they are most likely going to get in with that and kill the Obnixilis. Uh, what do we need to do in response then? Do we just spit out a 1-1? One, one? <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably just the best play. Um, and again, because we don't have any other plays at this point, I think we just foretell everything. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the best thing we can do. We really need a red source like a second red source we should have well no we needed the white source uh in hindsight i wish we hadn't but it is what it is all right so they're gonna spend their turn i assume getting rid of the obnixilis yep makes complete sense uh they're also gonna get a little one one at the end of the turn which is very good there's meat hook massacre that's really not that helpful though i'm gonna attack in I mean, like, why not? I think they can block if they want. It's fine. I don't really care. Next turn, we'll meet hook. I'm not. I'm not doing that this turn. Um. All right. I'm not even gonna doom scar this turn. We're just doing nothing. Sadly. Really, really need land. <laughs> that is. It's like step number one right now. We really need land. Um. Any land will do? Well, honestly, no. Big score would be the best. Big score would be amazing. Yep. Very good. Uh, Meat Hook Massacre is very nice here. Really wish we had a way to kill the wall. Well, actually, we do. I don't know how the, uh, the math... Or the process works out for this do we just get to ping the lolth first yeah i totally do oh no it doesn't all right dang that's okay we do keep it down at three so i think i would have done that either way because now at this point they can't just minus lolth without killing lolth so i think that was still the right play but um 
<laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. We are getting very uh, un unfortunate draws here, honestly. Like, we just don't have anything. Um, yep. I'm gonna zero out to draw. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, yep. Well, there's the land, which is something, but not a lot. Um, I am doing this on my turn because we kind of have to. Uh, let's do this and this. I'm gonna sacrifice the meat hook. We at least get both off the field. Wow, still like barely any lands i mean we did get a big score which is good but we're so far behind at this point there's very little we can do um yeah <laughs> urbrask can come down and just start attacking it oh my goodness so at what point do we just give up uh because they have got basically anything they need at this point Man, really bad draws this game. Just super, super bad draws. Uh, I, I mean, what can you do? Yeah, we can just play Evelyn. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, we can Doom Scar. She's already at seven. Can't even Urbras. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll do this, I think. Um, just for the fun of it. Just to say we got to reanimate something. I think this game is long gone, in my opinion. So this is really just a matter of like, we got to do something. Uh, at the very least, this discards a card and, you know, deals with some stuff, but it's not helpful. They have a Loth on the field, so <laughs> we're pretty dead, um, but that's okay. Liliana is going to be terrible. Uh, honestly, though, the discard isn't that bad for us in, like, a weird way. Um, it's kind of fine, but they have Kaya. Yep. Nice. All right. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. This is so frustrating a little bit, to be honest. Uh, yeah. You got it. So they're gonna next turn most likely just ultimate professor onyx which is really really good um so what can we do uh we can graveyard shift out dusk mangler we can olivia dusk mangler uh which would take care of something here at least um would take care of um yeah i think we just go for olivia here or not olivia wow professor onyx this is such a like bold play because chances are we're just gonna lose still but all right cool we got we got Professor Onyx down. That in my book is a win. <laughs> um, chances are though they're gonna be able to just sweep or do something crazy this turn. So I don't expect that we're gonna win this. Um, however, I mean the tides are a little bit better in our favor now. Um, with Onyx off the field, like that helps. Wow, that's so good. Um, we do have Doomscar though, actually. So that's not the end of the world all right uh interesting and what a game the problem is like we do this and then they just get you know
crazy amounts of things. Um, we did not get a land either. That's a problem. If we had gotten one more land, we could have lore hold command on this and then done some crazy shenanigans. Um, as it stands, uh, we might be able to do it. All right, hold on. We're doom scarring. There, Loth is gonna get a lot of stuff on it, but I think we can do it. Hear me out. We return Olivia, right? We attack them. We get Dusk Mangler, which attacks them. Yes, I think we did it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a game. What a game. That was insane. All right, uh, let's talk about this deck. All right, so I do want to just say a huge shout out to MTG Malone. While this is not his deck list, so I'm not going to link him down below. Um, he did create the initial one that then I kind of altered and changed up. So I do want to just say a thank you to MG MTG Malone for kind of getting us in the right direction. A lot of the pieces here are pretty straightforward. We knew they were going to be in the deck, though, so I don't think it's a huge stretch to say this is our own version of the list. Um, I can't believe we won that last game. I'm still a little in shock about that. That seemed uh, very much out of reach for us, but we were able to get it. Uh, very, very happy with that. Overall, I like the deck. I'm not sold on the Obnixilis plays. Uh, we didn't see it do the most work in the world. Uh, it did okay in some scenarios. Uh, we threw it away in that Simic Ramp uh, uh, matchup, though, so that was a little bad. But all in all, I mean, I enjoy the deck a lot. I love reanimator strategies. I think this is a sick one. It's one I'm going to probably continue playing around with because, again, I'm not sold on all of the uh, includes that we threw in here. Um, but regardless, it's a very fun one. Uh, if you haven't played reanimator before or if you really just haven't had the opportunity to, it's a, it's a fun, fun deck. Highly, highly recommend uh, just because the power level of the stuff that you can do very early on is just so fun. And like, yeah, you can easily just sweep or deal with it or whatever, but you just get to reanimate back all the time. And so they really have to exile things to deal with it. So regardless, a blast of a deck. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I do appreciate everybody watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure uh, you watch the uh, collection update video coming out tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be an absolute blast. We got some bangers uh, in that one. So definitely check that out, guys. But I do appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day.